What's going on guys, Kooks46 here bringing you another video, and in one of my recent videos I talked about the 2017 MLB All-Star Game starting lineups for both teams, and you guys seemed to really enjoy it. I asked you guys who got snubbed, and you guys put a ton of comments, you have some really good like discussion in there, everybody kept it pretty civil, which was cool. So I wanted to do another video like that, so let's go ahead and talk about the contestants of the 2017 MLB All-Star home run derby so there's eight contestants and it is a bracket play type of uh competition like it has been in the past couple years and i think the home run derby now is better than it was before when it just had like you know who could hit the most cut type of thing I, I like it now how they have the bracket play and they have the the time limit and stuff i like that a lot better so we're going to start with the american league and then we're going to move to the national league so the first contestant from the american league is coming from the minnesota twins shout out to carl dude it is going to be miguel sano miguel sano is having a great year for the twins he's doing really really well he's got 20 home runs this year at the all-star break so if you think about that you calculate that to about halfway through the season a little bit over you think about close to 40 home runs for him if he stays on this pace he's got 20 bombs and he has some pop dude he's he's like a really good power hitter i use him in mlb the show sometimes his gold guard is actually really good that power is nasty so miguel sano will be representing the twins in the american league next up is from the american league central we've got some dude who he's had some ups and downs in his career but he's actually really really good right now he's got 24 home runs right now and that is Mike Moustakis from the Kansas City Royals. Moose! 24 home runs, 52 RBIs at the All-Star break. Dude swinging a hot bat, man. If he's on his game, I can see some balls flying off his bat to right field in Miami. Now we're going to go to the American League East for the first of two Yankees. I think you guys know who the second one's going to be. But this one's an interesting one. Gary Sanchez. He's got 13 home runs on the season. But he's in the home run derby. Gary Sanchez is having a really good year for the Yankees, hitting almost 300, 13 homers, 40 RBIs, locking it down at that catcher position. He went to a gold in MLB The Show. But 13 home runs, you know, that doesn't seem like it's really home run derby like type of numbers. I know, uh, I think it was Logan Morrison was saying that he feels like he shouldn't be in the home run derby that Gary Sanchez is even in, so... It's interesting, and I think it's more for the star power that Gary Sanchez is actually in there. He's kind of becoming one of the face of the new league Yankees, so should be interesting to see how he swings. Maybe he can prove some people wrong in the actual derby. And last but not least in the American League, you guys all know who it is, the other New York Yankees participant. Aaron Judge. Dude has 28 home runs at the break, 63 RBIs. This dude, to me, is on pace to be the MVP of the American League, no doubt about it. And I cannot wait to see him in the home run derby. Just straight up, I cannot wait to see how many home runs he hits, how far the ball goes, because... Um, I've seen him in person one time at Angel Stadium. The dude is absolutely massive. But if you see some of his swings in batting practice, the ball just... I, it's insane how much the ball just flies off his bat. He is going to be electric in the home run derby, and I cannot wait to see how many home runs he hits and how far his longest one goes. So that is the American League participants. You got Gary Sanchez, Mike Moustakis, Miguel Sano, and Aaron Judge. So now let's move over to the National League side of things. We're going to start in the National League West with a member from the Colorado Rockies playing in Coors Field. The dude is becoming, to me, one of the most elite players in the game, and that is Charlie Blackman. That's right, guys. Charlie Blackman is getting a nod for the home run derby this year. He's got 18 home runs at this moment. And I know some people are going to say, oh, he's playing in Coors Field. The ball flies in Coors Field. But his stats don't lie. Like, you should have... This home run he hit the other day or like last week or something was like low and inside and he straight up MLB 17 of that thing oppo it was nuts it was dope I, I definitely think Charlie Blackman is a kind of a sleeper pick in this home run derby so the next pick we're actually staying in the National League West one of the most surprising talents this year has seen he's almost kind of like the National League Aaron Judge is Cody Bellinger from the Dodgers he's 21 years old He's younger than me, man. I'm 22. What am I doing with my life? And he's got 24 home runs right now. This dude is absolutely killing the ball. I don't know where this power came from. I don't know if Cody Bellinger was like a uh, revered prospect in the Dodgers system, but I had never heard of him until this season. So to see him come out of the gate swinging, no pun intended, and hit 24 bombs at this moment in time... It's a shock to me, and I, I'm excited to see how well he performs in the actual home run derby. So we have two contestants left in the National League, and they're actually both going to be representing the home team of the Miami Marlins. The first is going to be 
Justin Bohr. Now, kind of a side note, I don't know how many of you guys have seen my videos all the way back to MLB 16, but when I was playing MLB 16 Diamond Dynasty, Justin Bohr was like a beast. <laughs> he was so good for me. I used to hit dingers with that card. I don't know what it was. But I've always kind of had a soft spot for Justin Bohr just because of having his card in MLB 16 being kind of my first exposure to him. He's always been kind of a fun player for me to watch. But he's got 18 home runs right now. And him actually swinging the bat and playing in Marlins ballpark down in South Beach, it may give him an advantage. You know, he, he's familiar with the field. He's familiar with, like, the ground rules and how, like, what his launch angle should be getting. You know, all that type of stuff. I think he's actually going to perform pretty well. And he's a lefty, so it should be fun to watch him swing. And now for the final contestant, last. Last, but of course not least, the defending home run derby champion from the Marlins, Giancarlo Stanton. He won the home run derby last season. It was extremely fun to watch him swing. The balls that were flying off his bat in San Diego were just freaking moonshots. I think he hit one on top of the, the building in San Diego. I could be wrong. That could have been another player that might have been like Cespedes or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen the home run derby, derby of last year. I could be missing stuff. But I can't wait to watch this guy swing. And whether or not he wins, it doesn't matter to me. The main thing I want to see is I want to see him versus Aaron Judge. I want to see them two go at it because a lot of people compare them because of their body type, because of their power, and I'm really excited to see how they, you know, kind of go off each other. But Staten's got 21 at the break. His power is not a secret to anybody, so it should be fun to watch him again. So now, in the comments, now that we've seen all of the eight uh, participants of the Derby, here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to comment three things. You can be in one comment, that's fine, but comment three things. For one, who do you think is going to win? Number two, who do you want to win? And number three, who is your sleeper pick to win? So who do you want to win? Who do you think is going to win? And who's your sleeper? If you want the guy to win and you think he's going to win, that's fine. That could be the same thing. But I want to know all three of those things. For me, I think Stanton is going to win because it's his home ballpark. I want Aaron Judge to win just to see, because I, I mainly just want to see how far he can hit the ball, and I think he can hit it pretty freaking far. And my sleeper pick is actually going to be Cody Bellinger. I think Cody Bellinger's got some, he's got that pop, man. I, I think he's going to be a great power hitter for a lot of his career, so we shall see. But I want to know all your guys' thoughts down in the comments. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, MLB video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more real-life type of videos like this where I'm talking about actual real MLB stuff instead of MLB The Show, let me know down in the comments but make sure you smash that like button down underneath make sure you subscribe to the channel to never miss any more stuff like this and guys that's all i have for you in this one so i really hope you enjoyed and until the next video i will see you later